As my soul continues to dream, there's a dream in my mind that seems so real. Shall I awaken from my sleep and find it gone? I only see visions of triumph and laughter. Within the pearly gates of heaven, every thought is within my belief. Some may say a dream is only a dream. And death isn't life, and that the power of my sight is only my imagination. On this day, my spiritual ambition has been expounding. For the dreams will only keep me alive, with every stumbling block that I have faced, knowing that I only live in the here and now, which is the spiritual realm. My dreams are a voice telling me what will be, therefore, I will never leave a stone unturned, or maybe it's just a dream inside my dream. 22. A.S. We embrace this moment understanding that the art of death is our narrative, the passing of a loved one should be a peaceful change. A solemn form of tranquility, that's a part of all of our lives, and that can never be reversed, our lives are like a lily in the field, waiting to salute the sun, knowing that our loved one is like that flower, standing at attention to give God praise. Glory and honor are our true calling in life, that carries over into our death, so, for every mourner, they will be comforted, for every tear you cried will be dried, and every broken heart will be mended, always remember, grieving is a form of hope. Grief gives us strength and a new direction, which will only guide us to peace and purpose in our lives. 23. A.S. We gather, a loving heart as pure gold, so many stories left untold, the sun has set upon this hour, teardrops fall like an April shower, our hearts are filled with so much grief. We gather together in disbelief, there's so much sadness and little to say, as we hold on to our faith this day. 24. A.S. We heal our wounds, coping with death, how can we numb pain, after the death of a loved one, that never seems to heal, or surface to our comprehension? Should we grip our fists and withhold our scream, or just fester like sun-dried fruit, all that's left are shattered memories, from a heart that never mended, wondering if we will ever find the courage to let go, wishing one day the ordinary will become the extraordinary. Knowing that there will be greater jubilation, for every season there is a turning point, and our peacefulness shall be our composure, within every sorrow, there is a brighter tomorrow, so, release your pain, release your fears, release the discomfort and embrace your years. Because love starts within yourself, just listen in silence and welcome serenity, for there will never be a stone left unturned, burn your midnight oil, let the candle burn on both ends, showing that your tears are only your strength. 25. Bereavement, even though I may have left you, you are still with me, I can feel your sadness, grief, and disbelief, I am in a better place now, surrounded by an abundance of love, you have the strength and the courage, to carry on without me, remembering the words of Jesus Christ, peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives, do not let your heart be troubled and do not be afraid, even though my life has ended, the rivers of living water still flow within you, my nourishment is the bread of heaven, as my cup overflows with an abundance of joy, knowing that within my spirit, I will always and forever be with you. 26. Beyond life, spiritual life, through my passing, I have finally found my spiritual truth, all the pain, grief, and sorrow are behind me now, and pessimism seems to have disappeared, there's still a glimmer of expectation. From a sun that burns like fire, with wings, I am flying beside angels, dignity has never allowed me to falter, yet the past is so far behind me now never to be frightened or bound by emotional chains, I am finally free to experience God's goodness and grace. For nothing can impede my pathway to victory, I was indeed a good servant and have made it to the mark of the high calling of God, here is where beauty resides, remembering when I was only a step from victory as I searched for my spiritual truth. This period of traveling began within my soul, 
It allows me to do the things that I was once petrified of. It gave me strength where I was weak, to find the treasures I longed to seek. Let me not be judged by the color of the skin I wore, but, let me be remembered for the people I inspire. Believing that words and actions promote a positive life, remembering that stumbling blocks only make you stronger, start embracing the future and what lies ahead, by allowing regret to take a back seat, you are more than your life circumstances, if the situation knocks you down. Never stop fighting and never stop reaching, this is my spiritual truth. 27. Blindsided by death, sometimes death knocks on your door unexpectedly, and when it comes it has no filters, disrupting our lives like an indisputable subsequence. Only to remind us that everything has an expiration date. Within our legacy, the ingredients should include love, family, relationships, and our walk with God. Within your journey on this earth, you will never be useful or indifferent, and never one to stand out in a crowd, kind-hearted, caring, and considerate, never to be labeled ordinary, but extraordinary. From the memories, I hold so dearly of you. I can also say you were phenomenal, we all have the chance to write our chapters, your story was a masterpiece, that would have been a New York bestseller. Every moment in your presence was cherished, it was like counting every moment, with each sand in the hourglass, now, to conclude, that our lives can change in the blink of an eye, only to be blindsided by death, 28. Death has a no controlling power, when we lament the death of our loved ones. We will soon experience a calmness within the storm, knowing that those voices of emotional grief, will soon grow weaker and fade away in time, because there's a season and a reason for everything, and under the heaven a time to be born and a time to die, a time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to celebrate, a time to embrace as well as a time to separate, so, cast all of your grief upon the Lord, because He cares, and the mourners will be blessed and comforted, knowing, that death shall never have any dominion. 29. Do not shed a tear, please. Do not shed a tear, because I am comfortable at home, I have finally received my wings, and soaring free with other angels. I am that shooting star that falls beyond the earth. I am that perfect rainbow of multiple colors. I am that lily in the valley that rises with the sun. Listen closely to that gentle whisper. I am the snow that falls within the depths of the winter, and that tree that provides you shade. I am that diamond in its natural state. So, please do not shed a tear, because I am comfortable at home. I am in a much better resting place. 30. Don't be afraid to weep, the time of mourning, your tears are a reflection of your soul. Don't be afraid to weep, for it's a reality of our truth. But, when we reach that point of releasing grief, only then we can embrace love, and when we experience the death of a loved one, we will finally experience that light, that will guide us throughout eternity. The most amazing thing about grief, it tends to bring us closer to God, and at the end, our deepest sorrow could very well be our greatest victory. 31. Eternal Life When this sudden moment comes upon us, and there's nothing left to say, the one thing we will never say is goodbye. Even though we mourn, there's a story behind our tears, there's a symphony that plays throughout our cries, as heavenly violins resonate within our souls, listen closely to our beloved departed. Singing so angelically a beautiful song of praise, letting us know they're in a beautiful place now, telling us to embrace the hopes of eternity, for the ending is not the end.